My name is Tanisha Woods, and I'm the project director for the Pathways to Early School Success Building Local Capacity Project. Typically, the project is referred to as Pathways. The Pathways Project is housed at the National Center for Children in Poverty, and we're also known as NCCP. NCCP is part of the Mailman School of Public Health at Columbia University. As part of the Pathways Project, we've created a set of video modules that provide information about the project and the tools. Altogether, there are five modules and they are complementary to the user guide. This is the fourth video in the series. In this video, you'll learn about the Pathways Demographic and Community Data Tool. The Demographic and Community Data Tool accomplish two goals. First, it will help your coalition to identify indicator data that are collected in your community and can be used to monitor and track progress as part of your strategic planning efforts. Second, it will help your coalition assess the level of risk for adverse school and developmental outcomes among young children and families in your community. Before we turn to directions for the tool, I'll briefly go over the definition of an indicator. An indicator is a proportion that measures a meaningful aspect of a health, education, or social care system. An example of an indicator is the proportion of infants born with low birth weights in the year 2008. Indicator data can be collected at the neighborhood, county, city, state, or national level. And indicator data typically are collected over a specified period of time that can be compared to another time period. The demographic and community data tool begins with a section on demographics and it includes suggested indicators and possible data sources. The subsequent sections of the tool are organized according to the six pathways theoretical goals. Healthy, well-timed births, health and development on track, supported and supported families, high quality child care and early education, continuity in early childhood experiences, and effective teaching and learning in K-3 through classrooms. To complete the demographic and community data tool, we recommend that your coalition agrees that an individual or subcommittee will be responsible for finishing a specific section of the tool. For each section, the tool includes four columns. In the first column, we have included recommended indicators such as the percentage of infants born with low birth weights. In the second column, you'll write the source of the indicator data. For example, the county health department may have information on infants' birth weights. For some of the recommended indicators, a suggested data source is already provided, and we encourage you to list additional sources that you may know of for your community. In the third column, you'll record the data that have been collected. For example, you may find that 7% of infants in your community are born with low birth weights, and this data should be recorded in the third column. The fourth column is there so that you have a place to make a note if there are particular issues that users need to be aware of in regard to the indicator data. For example, if the percentage of infants born with low birth weights varies by race or ethnicity, you should put this information in the notes column. Additionally, the notes column serves as an online form so that coalition members can make comments if something is inaccurate, missing, or in some other way needs to be revised. Your coordinator will make the final revisions to the demographic and community data tool based on the notes section. By completing this tool, your coalition may realize that additional indicators are helpful for tracking progress in a priority area and are currently collected for your community. To add an indicator, click the Add Indicator button, which is on the right side of the screen. Once all coalition members have completed the tool, your coordinator will use your responses and notes to make final revisions and then submit a final version of the demographic and community data tool. The final version will be available in the results section of the website. After coalition members have completed the demographic and community data tool, we ask that members give us feedback on the tool and complete the tool assessment. From this video, 
You've just learned about the NCCP Pathways Demographic and Community Data Tool. If you have further questions, we have resources including the user guide on the NCCP Pathways website and your coordinator and the Pathways team are available to answer your questions.